Hi, Burt Wilson with Dynamic Foaming. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about propellers in five minutes. As you already know, propellers come in a wide variety of sizes and pitch combinations. But what exactly is pitch? So looking at this simple illustration, you can also think of it as the collective pitch on a helicopter blade. The picture to the left has less pitch or less of an angle of deflection. And that's going to generate less thrust. The illustration on the right, you can see that there is more pitch or more angle of deflection, which is going to give you more thrust. And what you're really trying to do is match the propeller with the spec of the motor so that you have an optimum amount of thrust for the energy put in versus the thrust that comes out. If you look at this next illustration here, I have a simple graph that shows as the pitch increases on the propeller, so does the thrust. Now this may seem like a simple thing, but at some point the increase in pitch is going to be counterproductive and the propeller will actually generate less thrust. So let's go back to the illustration. On this illustration, you can see a star, and that star represents the optimum pitch for that propeller. And if you start to increase the pitch beyond that, you are going to lose thrust. Now this loss of thrust uh, can have a couple side effects. You're going to increase the pitch of the propeller, which is not necessarily going to generate more thrust, but what it will do is increase drag and extra strain on the motor itself. Now by putting extra strain and drag on the propeller, or the motor uh, combination, what you're going to end up doing is one of two things. You're either going to burn up your motor, or you're going to burn up your speed control. When you start putting additional uh, drag and stress on the motor, you're going to start drawing excessive amperage. And that excessive amperage is going to generate excessive heat, which is going to cause the motor to overheat, and your windings could possibly melt through and then the motor shorts out. Or you're going to overload your speed control in which it's going to burn up and you're not going to be able to use it. Or if it has a fail safe, it might possibly go into fail safe mode and save the equipment. Now, let's say for instance you're out flying and you're running a GWS 6050 propeller, which let's say that's a six inch diameter five pitch prop. And somehow you break that propeller. Now you're left with a, a situation. You have to get a replacement propeller. Now if you're like me, you will go to the field reasonably prepared. You will have your batteries charged, everything ready to go. But there's always that situation where it's the one thing that you need that you left at home. So let's say you reach into your box and you have a handful of propellers. And none of them are a six inch in diameter propeller. You have a seven inch or you have a five inch propeller. And you have various pitches of propellers. So let me show you a simple mathematical equation to determine a good substitute for that particular propeller. Let's look at this next illustration. Let's say you're running a six inch propeller with a five pitch. All you have to do is multiply six times five to get 30, where 30 is kind of like a prop load factor. So now let's say you have a seven inch propeller a seven inch propeller, you would take seven divided into 30, which is going to be 4.2. So the ideal pitch on a seven inch propeller would be four. And that's gonna be very similar to the six at a five pitch. And like I said, there's a lot of very specific aerodynamic principles that go into this, but for this discussion, it can be watered down into something very simple because I've done this for many, many years and it's worked very, very good for me. Most of our pusher jets are recommended for a, a six, uh, 6050 GWS propeller, slow fly propeller. And that'll give you optimum performance with the 75 watt uh, brushless outrunner. Now, that prop size is just a recommendation based off of that motor size. In a lot of our models, you can go slightly up in diameter or slightly lower in diameter, as long as it's within the parameters of your equipment. And that's not gonna be a problem as far as the design of the aircraft is concerned. Now in models like this DF-15, the DF-15 has a uh, cutout in the fuselage 
And that cutout is uh, uh, set up for a very specific diameter of prop. In this particular case, you would want to stick with the recommended size. Although you could go with a different pitch, uh, whether it be a higher or lower pitch. Here again, that's going to be in line with your uh, motor manufacturer information. So that is the simple science behind propellers. And uh, I will put information about the DF-15 in the uh, description below. And like always, I appreciate uh, you guys taking the time to watch the video. Please subscribe to uh, our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it. Like us on Facebook. And again, it's Bert with Dynamic Foaming. Thank you for watching.